please welcome back to our show, the very funny Whitney Cummings. <laughs> That clip that was my impression of Nicki Minaj. Did I look exactly like her? <laughs> it was. I was I was talking about her album cover. Well, okay, so here's the thing. Yeah. First of all, your skin is beautiful. Thank you. You don't sit in the sun really? one day. Yeah. I am basically an albino, so I have to put yeah, a lot you're of sunscreen. Very white. Yeah, I have to you're, put a lot of sunscreen on. Yes. And this color is very flattering to Thank your you. Skin. We I went through three dresses. This is the only one that fit. We had two zippers break upstairs, so this is the one that made the cut. Now, have you gotten work done? Thank you. <laughs> I, no, I mean, you look fantastic. Thank you. You know, when we met. But I take that as a compliment when people ask me that. I'm like, thank you so on? much. I mean, head to toe. You know, okay, so I'm just gonna be super real and honest. Um, uh, a couple years ago, I would say that maybe like the first like eight or not, mm, first eight years I was in Hollywood, I was not eating. I thought that I was supposed to be really skinny. You yeah, know, everybody in the Hollywood. Pressure. The pressure is so intense. You know, on TV, you know, the camera adds weight, they say. Right. And I was eating like chicken and salads and working out, like doing like spinning like every day. And I was really gaunt. And, uh, you know, I know nobody wants to admit this, but I was, um, I was kind of starving myself. And I saw myself on a TV show, much like this one day, and I saw that I didn't have like a gap, or I didn't have, my thighs weren't touching. Basically, and I was like, that's not healthy. And uh, I felt like I was a bad role model. So I started eating and um, thank you. This is good. It's a, no, this is a good thing. And then my face, my face totally filled out. And then everyone thought I got like a facelift because fat is like nature's filler. Yeah, <laughs> so, right. Yeah, so it's, everybody thinks that I like got worked on. I was like, no, I just started eating like guacamole and bagels. It's a good thing though, Whitney. Thank you. Um, Thank you. By the way, I just need- um, I also have a lot of uh, professional makeup artists who spend three hours making me look like this, so. It, it's all working for Thank you. Thank you. I just need, um, Rambo, some um, tattoo cam because just please tell me the origin of it, please. Okay, so this okay, is- Okay, wait, don't, don't cover it. Let, it. let me just go. Sorry, okay. this is a safety pin. Um, you really just get it, dig deep fast. You come in hot, Wendy. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> I love it. So I, growing up, I did grow up in sort of a tumultuous household. And for whatever reason, my like nervous tick when my parents would fight was I would just like play with safety pins. Nothing like weird or self mutilating. I would like make necklaces out of them and like silly little things. And you know, so when I um, got Aww. older and was like realized like I'm safe now, I don't need to do that anymore. And I just got a tattoo to commemorate that I had uh, made it, you know? I think, I think, I'm not like a big tattoo person, but right? I think when, you know, sometimes it's a good reminder. Sometimes we need to be reminded that the war is over and we're out of the woods and to stop acting. Stop. Where'd you grow up? I grew up in DC. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. And then I actually have a couple more tattoos that are white uh -huh. so that you can't see them. But see, that says I love you right Wait, there. Wait, no, I've never seen this in my entire life. <laughs> Rambo, zoom in. Rambo? Whoa. Well, yeah, no, that's him. Hi, Rambo. Hey. Hey, boo. Oh, my gosh. Can you, you can get it? a white tattoo? You can get white tattoos. That's good. Yeah, it's basically just going to be a lighter version of whatever your skin tone is. And since I'm clear, it's like extra clear. Um, but yeah, so it just says I love you because I sometimes, you know, we go through life and we start getting annoyed at people and we, people cut us off in traffic and we get pissed off. I just have to remind myself just, Anytime you get annoyed, just say I love you in your brain and it just makes life uh, easier. That is the most, I've never yeah. seen that in my life. I do it. It's a beautiful idea. Thank you. In my head, as soon as I meet someone, I just say I love you because as soon as you find out someone's story, you're gonna fall in love with whoever that person is. Everyone's fighting a struggle that we don't know anything about, so I try yeah. to stay patient. You know, Whitney. Thank you. The thing is, is that, you know, when, when people, particularly men, think of women comedians, they don't think of necessarily model like you are you are very beautiful oh thank you that's literally nice. when she walked out here what did you think oh my god she's the snobby rich lady at that's Saks so... Fifth Avenue no oh my goodness oh yes I do not shop at Saks Fifth Avenue but... I shop at Lomans oh. honey <laughs> how dare you and I that's so nice I mean the good news though is that Twitter keeps us humble read my Twitter at replies they are not complimentary well I mean you know the trolls the trolls so um, having a special on, on HBO is like the holy grail of any comedian's yeah. uh, career. And so now you have yours. Yeah. This is your first yeah, one ever. Yeah, my first. Um, you know, I've done uh, a special on Comedy Central. I've done two specials on Comedy Central. You know, I grew up, uh, 
you know, uh, being obsessed with Richard Pryor. And so I remember like watching- Do you date black men? I, whoa, Wendy! <laughs> no, I'm just saying, obsessed with Richard Pryor. Have you had work done? Let me see a your good, tattoo. A good juicy body. Do you date black men? Like the brothers like <laughs> this. Wendy, do yeah, you date black? I, I, <laughs> have you? I do not. You grew up in the chocolate city? That's right. Right? When I, when I grew up, my, my mayor did crack. I mean, I did grow up with Mary and Mary. Um, no, I have dated a black man. I don't exclusively date, I'm not right. racist against white people. Right. Uh, I have dated a black man, yes. And he did say that my ass was switching. Yay! Yeah. Okay. I know what that means. So, but back to the HBO special. It's a very, very big deal. Okay, so you grew up loving Richard Pryor. Yeah. And so now here you are on HBO. Mm -hmm. Now, how long is your special? Is My it, special, it's about an hour when it first airs, but then you can keep watching um, like extended cuts. It's like an hour and a half, and it's my most raw. What do you wear? What do I wear? I'm wearing actually heels in this, and my hair is down, because uh, I tried to bring a little more glamour. I think, you know, in order to be a comedian, I don't think you sh we should have to sacrifice our femininity and have to neuter ourselves. So I really wanted to lean into that. Yeah, yeah. This time, you know, I don't want to have to um, sort of be a guy in order to be funny. Now, so do I, you have a boyfriend? I'm seeing someone, a little, but not seriously. I took 10 months off of dating to work on myself. Yes. Now, Thank you. Does he like that you're dirty girl on stage? Um, I don't know. I, I'm not sure any guy loves uh, a girl who uh, talks for an hour straight. Um, <laughs> I try to sort of, I start trying to sort of make sure the guys I date, I know. <laughs> No, you're, you're right about that, though. I know. It I takes a very, very strong, strong man. Confident man. But the good news is we get out of our system, so the, by the time I get home, I don't have that much to say. That's so what I, I say! say. <laughs> you need, every woman should have their own TV show, so by the time they get home, they're all out of opinion. Yeah, yeah. All right, now, you did something that's, you know, confidentially, uh -oh. I guess it's not confidential anymore. Well, here but, we go. But I wish that I had done. Uh, but I, I, you froze your eggs. I did, this but, year wait, I froze wait, my eggs. You're only, under 35. I'm 33, yes. Okay. I froze my ex because a lot of my friends were dealing with fertility struggles. Well, first of all, my whole issue with this is that like fertility is totally backwards. Biology has not caught up with feminism or modern technology. The fact that a girl can get pregnant 15 and not 40 is ridiculous. <laughs> I agree, I, I agree. It's like, it should be the opposite. It should be, you can't get pregnant at 15, but you're super fertile at 40. I've never met a 15 year old girl and been like, you know, you make a great mom. Right. <laughs> I really, I really like your Snapchats. I think you're ready. <laughs> yes. But, okay. So I have a lot of friends in their 40s who are struggling. You know, they finally got, had the career they wanted, finally found the man that they wanted to have kids with. And then all of a sudden, you know, their biology was working against them and they couldn't have kids. So a girlfriend of mine actually said, would I be able to have one of your eggs? And I was like, of course, someone wants my genetics. I'm so flattered. Uh, so so I went and I got um, it looked at, and he's like, you should just put them on ice just so that you have freedom. And okay, all right. <laughs> How much did it cost to put them on ice? It's... Does Medicare, Medicaid, or, or <laughs> Obamacare take oh, care of I'm it? I'm not that old. <laughs> and, and also, do you have to pay rental per month? Like I do, I have to pay. I am, How I, much? I, I think it's like 200 a month, like rental fees. I know, it is not cheap. I'm trying not to be a deadbeat mom. I'm trying to pay my bills. <laughs> Uh, and then, by the way, they have a great life. They're on the beach in California. Yeah. They have a better view than I do. Are they all in the same dish? They're all playing I, with each other. I haven't seen them. I haven't looked at them. But it is a really big investment. Um, it Does is, that scare guys away? You know, at first I thought it would be awesome. Like, I thought it would be an aphrodisiac. Like, oh, look at this awesome chick who doesn't want to have kids right now, but guys are not into it. It's not a turn on. You know, you can't be hooking up with a guy and he's like, hey, do you have a condom? And I'm like, don't worry, boom, my stuff's on ice down by the airport. <laughs> like, it's not. She guys aren't in, guys aren't into it, but um, but you know, t they, he said to me, look, like it might not be for your first kid, it might be for your third, or you might want a surrogate. I was like, you know what, I I don't spend money on you know clothes and shoes if I can spend it on my own freedom so that I don't feel pressure. I so love I, that idea. You know, I, I, it's I, like because I did find I did find that I was dating guys that I was only like seventy percent into just because I felt like I had to move. You know, I was like, yeah. you're good enough because I'm like I we expire at a certain point. It's crazy. So if there's the technology to extend that. Freedom, like, why not? Execute. Yeah. So Whitney's Execute. not leaving, because up next, we're gonna play a really fun game called Celebrity, the okay. Funny <laughs> Ladies Edition. Okay. So keep it here. You did other shows? Yeah.
Hey, we're back. Um, so Whitney Cummings is still here and we're playing a game right now called Celebrity, the Funny Ladies Edition. What we're gonna do is take turns with each other, showing each other photos of funny women and we have to guess who they are. So I'm gonna hold up my cards first and you'll have 45, I'll have 45 seconds to guess. So okay. please describe well, cause okay, I wanna okay, win. Okay, <laughs> okay. And go! Uh, oh, she, she had her own sitcom uh, with Tom Arnold uh, and- Roseanne. Yes. Okay. Okay, uh, she's on The View right now. She was in Ghost. She black or white? Uh, she's black. She was with Ted Danson. Sherry Shepard. No! Uh, I mean, she dated Ted Danson. He put black Oh, on. God, uh, He was in Ghost. Yes. yes. She was in Ghost. Okay, um, she has a show on Bravo. Uh, it's a reality show. Black and, or white? Uh, white, red hair. Uh, talks about celebrities. Uh, Stand-up comedian. Kathy? Yes. Kathy Griffin, okay. Yes. Uh, okay, she was the, uh, the female on Seinfeld. Elaine. Uh, yes, uh, and she's on Veep now. You know who I'm you talking get about. It. You get it. Okay, she was on the Golden Girls, the uh, icon, funny. Uh, Betty White. Oh, yes. Okay, go. Okay, um, Trainwreck. She was in the show, tra the movie Trainwreck. Uh, 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 she had her own show. She has her own show on Comedy Central. Schumer. Yes. Well, I guess five out of uh, I think ten. Okay, that's pretty good. Out of nine. All right. That's really good. All right, let's see how you do. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this, is when, this is when Wendy turns on her guests. When she gets competitive. 45 seconds on the clock and go. Um, she's white and she does Sarah Palin on SNL. Uh, Tina Fey. Go. Okay. White redhead, Ricky. Uh, Legend. Lu Lucy Hill. Yes, yes. Oh, she's on The View. Older white woman like an aunt. Oh, Funny aunt as hell. Joy Behar. Yes. Okay. She's Korean at uh, Margaret Cho. Yes! <laughs> she's black. She was on The View. Now she's not there. Sherry yes. Shepard. See, color does matter. Oh okay, she's white and she's the uh, black and she's the mom on Blackish. Uh, Diana's daughter. Oh, Tracy Ellis Ross. Yes! Okay, she's your friend. We were just talking about Chelsea Hamlin. Yes! Okay, she was on. Uh, you're cheating. I, I saw you look. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> Well, you won anyway. You got seven, I got five. But here's the thing, I won because you gave good clues. You lost because I gave you well, bad clues. Well, because sometimes people get very, very uneasy about talking color. Here you do, you're just show. like white, black, it, Korean. Cut to the chase. I mean. Co color matters if you're describing. You know what I mean? Look, Oscar's so white, hashtag. Funny white woman in a, in a green dress <laughs> on HBO. It's Whitney Cummings, everybody. Thank Her you. show's called I'm Your Girlfriend. Tomorrow night at 10, HBO.